Good morning. Good morning. I am in a house again. Yes, good morning. Good morning to you and you and you and you. I have no idea why I started the vlog with that song. But I'm getting in a hat. I just, I just, we just get so comfortable in hats, particularly this really warm one. There you go. I've been out this morning. I've been on it like a cab on it yet again. Ish. I'm not really feeling it again, but I'm all right. Um, I have been to my CBT. I have another task, a new task to do, which I'll talk to you about in a second. I've been to Morrison's. What do you think of my new plants? I don't know if Alex will like them. I don't know if it'll make the room look a bit dull, but they're like, I don't know what they are. I was about to tell you. They're called succulent in ceramic. If I kill these, like, that is it. I can't kill these type plants, can I? Every plant I own, I've died. I've died. <laughs> I've killed. Has died. So I got that one, and then I got this one. These are all £4 each, and that's, that's in a different coloured one. And this bigger one, which is a little bit more green, and it's in, like, a gold and ombre looking plant pot. So I don't really know where they're going to go, but I quite liked them. But yeah, I had to knit to Morrison's because obviously Asda messed up my shopping this week, didn't they? So we have been running low on milk. I needed to get some mints because that's where I get my mints from. Do you guys go to certain places for certain foods? Like for us, now I get my regular shop from Asda. This don't, keeps not shutting. Um, I get my fruit from the greengrocers, fruit and veg from the greengrocers. And I get my mints and... Morrison's sauces like that that's the sausage casserole sauce from Morrison's do you guys go anywhere in particular for certain things I don't like Asda mints we don't like Asda mints at all and we really like Morrison's mints so we head there for our mints my CBT today this week and for the next week actually uh, and for the following week rather I am trying to, I will write, I wrote it down so I need to tell you because it just goes in my head and out if I don't write things down. I need to work out if I, okay, right, I'm a bit confused already. I need to practice to be more tolerant, okay? I need to do a few things the opposite of what I do now. I need to be conscious that I need to do the opposite. So for example, it's a case of just do it. So if I'm if I'm hesitating in doing something, just do it. Which I know that that Mel Robbins five second can't remember, five second rule will just help me so much, and that already has helped me so much in particular with my runs. Um, but for example, if it's something that I normally approach head on and and feel like I need to do it there and then and yeah, I don't really. I'm not very good at explaining this. Hang back. If I'm afraid, then go for it, okay? Um, so for example, and there's some, example, there's some examples that I've used this week, or that we've used this week, and it is, I'm a bugger for asking people for reassurance, like, for example, on anything really, I always say to Alex, what do you think of this, or what do you think of that, or can we do this, or can we do that? I never do anything just spontaneously for myself. I mean, I've just bought them plants, but chances are I will probably take them back because he won't like them. But again, that's like me getting reassurance on the purchase. I like them, so why not just keep them? So maybe I should just go to him and say, we're keeping them plants, by the way, Alex. I don't care whether you like them or not, we're keeping them. Do you know what I mean? So that's one thing. Um, food, because I, you know how bad I am with food. I hesitate a lot and I think about it too much. And it's a case of, I think, that this ex exercise, I know I said experiment, exercise is more of a just do it exercise. Don't think about it, just do it. Um, the other one is double checking. I constantly check I've locked doors, I've locked cars, I've um, turned things off, I've turned things on, um, I've put, ta I constantly, constantly check. So I need to just know Every single time that I've done that, I've done what I've needed to do properly and right. So I need to be conscious of just doing it the once and, and and that's it. You know that you've done it. Be a positive thinker in that you've done it. You know that you've done it. That's, you, you saw yourself do it. You've done it. Just do it again. Don't think about it. 
just do it and delegating a little bit more which is something that I do struggle with at work because I feel really guilty if for example it's coming to three o'clock and I need to pass something on to somebody else I feel real bad and like what are they going to think of me I'm going at three o'clock but then I don't get paid anymore to stay after three o'clock um so this person particularly works different hours for me she gets paid or he gets paid more than me like maybe you shouldn't have more work than me but he could he's going to be hit. you know what i mean i'm just trying to yeah so work in particular is where i struggle to delegate i don't really struggle to delegate here i mean i do but it's more because i'm conscious that alex is also like in uh, struggling really he doesn't get much sleep and he is 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 mad too he's all over the shop but i don't think it's like with anxiety because he just don't care about anything yeah i don't i don't worry about not delegating here i do in a way because i don't want to get it cleaner because i think it's my stuff i don't want anybody else touching it. so maybe i do maybe i do without realizing but that's my task for this week i have to write down the things that i just do just just go for it um i have to write down what it was that i did what was the benefit for me or for somebody else and how well did you tolerate the uncertainty um so it'd be very interesting but i've got two weeks because i'm not going to see you for another two weeks it's half term next week so um yeah i'm going the week after which will hopefully give me enough time to get some examples because well it will it just will i just know it those with glasses will totally understand this opening the dishwasher and it's just finished and you steam it up. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, and this is going to probably be a relatively short vlog compared to some, um, but I am wanting to, and don't forget, I'm not a therapist or anything like that. Um, I do advise you to seek medical advice of some sort um, if you are feeling the way that I'm feeling or if you can relate to me. But I understand that it's scary to ask for help or it's scary to talk or it might feel scary to talk believe me it's not scary once you do it, it you you will feel a hundred times better just making that initial um contact but because i'm able to relate to people and people are able to relate to me i wanted to do my next task if you like with you guys this week if you want to do what I'm doing in, that's really annoying like that, the reflection of the um, computer in my glasses, isn't it? So if you guys want to do what I'm doing this week, um, then I want you to share with me, tag me, do whatever you want to do to show me what you've been doing. So this week I am wanting us, us, this is what I'm doing but I want us all to do it. Um, if you two are struggling with mental health illness, particularly anxiety and depression, to just do it. The minute that you think that you can't do something or that you're worrying or that you're putting off something, go and do it. Either if you can't do it right there and then, write it down. So it's out of your head and you can go back to it because that's one worry of mine that I forget things. So that's why I feel like my head is full because I'm constantly trying to remember everything. If I write things down, then I can go back to it when I have got a spare five minutes and do, you know, do whatever I thought of back in half an hour ago. So will you guys do this with me? I want you to share with me what you get up to. I too will be sharing with you guys. I will be on my Instagram. I will be on Facebook. I will be on Twitter. Go ahead and follow me on there. Tag me in whatever you get up to. I would love to see it. You will probably, you do not understand how much that, that helps other people. I didn't. I did not understand how much what I say to you guys not only helps me as I say to you all the time, but helps other people. So I hope that this is of help and it's encouraging to you. And yeah, let's do it. Let's do it this week. You're scared, you're worried, you, you're putting off something. You don't know whether you should do something. You feel like you should ask for somebody for reassurance or like somebody else needs to okay something. Just do it and be sure to share with me what you've done because I would love, love, love to find out what challenges that you guys have overcome but let's just do it okay 
again a very short vlog for today but i just wanted to get that out there because i really feel like we can both help each other this week in particular the next couple of weeks before my next session so yeah i really hope that's helped and i cannot wait to be hearing from you guys um if you want to leave comments down below that's absolutely fine if you want to tag me in, in facebook instagram if you want to send me a, a DM if you wanted to keep it private that's again absolutely fine I'm there you know where I am all links down below in the description so yeah let's do this let's do it